So we're talking about the fragrance samplers from Sephora. And this one I got is called the Fresh Florals. I got this one because I'm almost positive I'm going to get this Jennifer Aniston one because I thought about just getting the big bottle by itself. But this is even better because now I get to try out all these other scents and make sure. Oh, and also I got this sample of Juicy Couture. This is just a side note. But when you go into the store, you can ask for a sample, and that's a pretty decent sized sample. I mean, I guess it's like the free samples you get when you order them online. But you can get as many as you want. Um, so my friend Melissa Jean Kern, she's here on YouTube too, she told me about doing this. So nice. I'll, do a, I'll put a link to her channel. You should go watch her. She's a lot better at shopping than I am. All right. So we're gonna try these out. Clean, warm cotton. The scent recreates the uniquely for comforting smell of just out of the dryer freshman, freshness. Simple, warm, and clean. Can you get it out for me? Um, snappy notes of citrus, verbena, and watery green pear blend with floral essences like jasmine, orange, flower, and musk. Subtle and softly sexy, the scent is the ideal compliment to a modern, confident woman. Well, I like that description a lot, but it just smells like laundry. Am I right? Yeah, it does. It smells like laundry. So, I don't know. I think that whole laundry phase is kind of past hackneyed. Right. And, um... Like, you can get a good cotton scent from Bath & Body Works or even, like, Rite Aid or something in those little spray bottles. But, I don't know. The scent description is really good because I like jasmine a lot and I like, um, pear. Let's try it. Yeah, it smells fresh and clean. Yeah, I might actually like that one more than I thought I did. See, that's why you have to try it. This is pure... DKNY. Through Pure DKNY's partnership with CARE, a leading humanitarian organization, they are helping to make an impact on improving the financial future for women one drop at a time. You can't argue with that, right? Right, that sounds like a good description. <laughs> Verbena basil adds a crisp green nuance, while blossoms like honeysuckle, peony, and muguet. What's that? Leave a sparkling finish. Which one? Muget. I don't know. I've never heard of that word. That's okay. It's, I'm sure it's some kind of uh, flower. Using a drop of goodwill as a signature ingredient. <laughs> Pure DKNY is more than a fragrance. Wearing it reflects a state of mind and a way of being pure and simple. All right. This one's very flowery. Yeah, it definitely does smell flowery. I don't know. It's not very strong, I feel. It smells like a, like a spring scent. Yeah, it's very springy. I'm not sure if I'm into it, though. Let's move on. I don't think it's a winner. Yeah. <laughs> Dolce and Gabbana light blue evokes the spirit of Italy, the infinite sky, the deep sea, and lighthearted joy. A clean, breezy mix of Sicilian limes, Granny Smith apples, and bluebells is offset by delicate jasmine, bamboo, and white rose. Relish the ultimate feminine fragrance that captures the joy of living. What do you think? So right off the bat, I feel like the lime, the Sicilian lime that they're talking about, is like all I smell. You can tell that there's other things besides lime in it, but that's the only note that I really pick up on. So if you like lime, I bet that one's really good. Right, absolutely. That one's pretty good, but I think it's too limey for me. Yeah, we'll see a, you know, a few hours later what, it's, what it comes down to. Yeah. Coach Poppy Flower, which is different from Coach Poppy. I like the picture. 
The colorful spirit of iconic poppy girl served as the inspiration for this lively scent. Flirty, adventurous, magnetic, and undeniably charming. A chic, feminine blend of fruits and florals, refreshing lychee and cassis mingle with a bouquet of jasmine petals, water lily, rose musk, and sandalwood. Designed to inspire a mood of whimsical beauty, the, this ultra-feminine chic scent will leave you blushing and full of youthful energy. I'm into that. What do you think? It smells like peaceful energy. <laughs> youthful energy. I do like it. It's it's very young. It kind of reminds me of that that one you got me. Right. The um, Ed Hardy scents. Absolutely. Yeah, I like it a lot. <laughs> but it, it, it's definitely young. I, I'm actually pretty impressed with that. Yeah. Yeah, it has, it has a really good scent to it. Yeah. I'm glad I have that little bottle. Alright, what's the last one? Jennifer Aniston. And I've been smelling this perfume for a couple weeks now, and I'm really into it. The inspiration. Summer days at the beach, night blooming jasmine, and evenings in front of a wood fire. Aniston's fragrance recalls her most favorite memories of growing up in coastal California. Now, I grew up on the East Coast, but I also grew up right by the beach. A fresh, sophisticated blend of citrus, jasmine, and wild violets, plus earthy golden amber and sensual musk. This laid-back scent leaves a trail of effortless elegance and stylishness. Let's give it a try. Yeah, as it comes with a spray. That's nice. I really like this one. I'm almost positive it's going to win. Yeah, that one smells really good. Yeah, because it's kind of, it kind of smells like um, my air freshener. So my wallflower that I'm using, the wallflower bud, bulb is called um, Suntan from Bath and Body Works. And it kind of smells like that. Mmm, <laughs> it's so good. I think it's going to win. And yeah, who doesn't like really Jennifer good. Aniston, right? So, yeah, we'll check back at the end of the day or in the middle of the day to see how the scents are holding up to, like, walking around in the city. And then we'll let you know which ones we try. Okay, sounds good. We went to Lush and this soap place, the Rossum Langle. So we've been smelling a lot of different scents. What's your opinion? I think that um, a lot of the scents actually got better as the time's gone on. What do you think? Yeah, I feel like the initial scent is like, it's strong and it's supposed to like attract you right away. But I think it's nicer after it fades away a little bit and then the other notes come out, like the middle notes. Yeah, I, I, think, I think the nice uh, spring breeze has brought, brought the true uh, scents out of the fragrances. So we're at Love Park now, and uh, there's the statue and the fountain, and then these old men are singing like these Better Than Ezra songs, which is awesome, because who doesn't like Better Than Ezra, right? Uh, right, right. <laughs> And like they've been doing Weezer and Foo Fighters and stuff. It's it's really funny. I like them a lot. Now we can do the perfumes. And I actually liked all of them because they all lasted a pretty good amount of time. Or she would, you're a woman. Shut up. <laughs> so this one here, the Dolce and Gabbana light blue. This is the one that I said smelled really citrusy and limey right off the bat, and like too much. But I was really happy that the lime scent actually lasted as long as it did. Because usually with perfumes you spray it on and then like five minutes later you can't smell that top note anymore. But this one lasted for like, you know, maybe an hour. <laughs> for like maybe an hour. And now it smells like more woodsier. Um, but yeah, it's not as strong as the other ones that I'm wearing. This is an eau de toilette, by the way. And then, I think the other ones, I think all the other ones are eau de parfums. 
Then, yeah, so this one I think is probably my least favorite. <laughs> the clean, warm cotton. Just because, like I said in the beginning, these next two are probably tied. The Coach Poppy Flower and the Pure DKNY. Like, I really like them both. And they both have good staying power. And the notes in both of them don't change that much. <laughs> so whatever I said in the beginning of the video is the same. But then by far the best one for me was the Jennifer Aniston. I think it's just called Jennifer Aniston. Yeah. Because it smells like the beach. And how can you go wrong with that? And this is what the packaging looks like. It comes in this box with this sleeve and like half naked Jennifer Aniston comes on it. So like, you can't argue with that, right? Like besides the uh, the perfume and fragrances that we have here, you can't ignore the picture of Jennifer Aniston. Right. In, in, in the picture right here. Check it. Yeah, she, she looks pretty good in the picture. So it's not really too hard to miss on the rack. Yeah. yeah she's right there. <laughs> on the like, rack is right. Yeah, on the rack, <laughs> waiting for you to pick her up. So this is the size of the bottle that you get for this um, t when you trade this in and it is one ounce. His was 1.7 ounces. But this is one ounce and her price is 39 bucks for the one ounce. So it's only three more dollars to get all these other perfumes. And this, a quarter ounce, costs $12 at Sephora. So this is definitely a good deal. His is a better deal. The men's one is a better deal. I always get the good deals. <laughs> but this this is still a good deal because it's, um, like, I was going to buy this anyway. And now I just had to pay three more dollars to get Absolutely. to get all these other fragrances that I learned that I liked. It's tricky, though, because now I want to get the other one. It's almost like calculus. <laughs> no, it's not like calculus. It's just like good marketing. And I'm a sucker for good marketing. Good shopping. <laughs> it's good Sh shopping. Sh shopping ethics. Well, you know, I'll use these up, definitely. And this one, too. And I'll probably use this one sometimes, too. So I'll use them up, and then when, if I'm still thinking about those fragrances at the end, then I'll go back and get them. And, and what it comes down to is you basically just get a bunch of small bottles, you just sniff them all, and just... Uh, and if you really hate one, you can give it away. Absolutely. To like your mom. <laughs> a gift. Because moms like family. different smells than, than I don't know. I'm, I just said your mom because I thought it was funny. <laughs> I, I could give his mom anything and she would be happy. <laughs> but yeah, so Jennifer Aniston perfume. If you're a beachy girl, you're going to love it because it just reminds you of the beach. So it reminds me of home. So I love it. <laughs> Do you like it? I love it. You should wear that every day. I will. Well, I'll alternate it with my, um... He got me the Ed Hardy set. Love kills slowly. So I'll alternate it with that. It also comes with a bag. As, as a gift. Oh yeah, I'll insert a picture of the bag here. Definitely recommend getting these. This this one was the fresh flor florals, and the other one's like the captivating one. There's also ones that are more expensive. Like these were both forty two dollars, but there's also gift sets that are seventy five dollars that you also have the option of trading it in to get a full size product. And I think the ones that are seventy five, you get a larger size bottle. We had a good day. I think it was fun smelling all this stuff. We did. And I got some mosquito bites, though, maybe because I was wearing so much Watch out for mosquitoes. <laughs> but we were outside a lot, too, so you can't really, you can't really get away from the mosquitoes. Wear sunscreen. Yeah, wear sunscreen. What, is this weird? 